Okay, let's pick the topic. Topic okay. for the video. What types of acting jobs are there? Oh, that's a good question because there are many. Let's think about this for a second. Um, should we just like go through a list of how, what there is and then we can kind of break it down? Yeah, that's a good idea. So, um, mm. the obvious would be film and commercials. Those are mm -hmm. probably the biggest and the first things that pop into people's mind when yeah. they think acting. But there's more. Voiceover work. Voiceover. Yes. Print. Print. Extra work. Industrials. Industrial. Stand-ins. Stunt doubles. Stunt doubles. 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 I think that's pretty, those are like, okay. The so, things. yeah, so let's kind of go into detail on some of those. Some of them are obvious, like she said, um, but others we'll just hit. Yeah. Starting so, with extras, maybe? Yeah, we'll just talk a little bit about extras, which, you know, there's so much extra work out there. Mm -hmm. There really is. There's a lot. And I would say if you are new to acting, that extra work is something you should do. Yeah. That's where you're going to learn a lot about the industry. Yeah, and just, like, how to be on set. Because I feel like there's a certain way that you need to carry yourself. Yes. You know, and just learning, yeah, just how to be on set and, and, and being quiet and long the long hours. Mm -hmm. And, you know, learning what certain terms mean. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. A uh, whole bunch of terms. Probably should have written those down, but that's yeah. okay. <laughs> no, but it's it's good. I mean, just I think that doing extra, especially starting out. I, I mean, if you're like more seasoned, because uh, and another thing to mention is extra work is generally unpaid. Like she said, a lot of it's unpaid. If you do like the films or commercials, some of that is paid. But if you do a lot of independent projects, a lot of the extra gigs you get independently are going to be unpaid. So, but it's okay. It's a good teacher. Sure. And I mean, I knew people that did extra work as their full-time job. Yes. And they didn't even states. have any desire to, like, be a main mm -hmm. character. They, uh, at least back when I was living in Toronto, there were, like, agencies just for background work, for extra oh, wow. work. And you would get paid, like, X amount of dollars an hour for a guarantee of eight hours a day. Yep. Which That's is amazing. totally doable in a place like probably Canada and L.A. and Texas. You're not making bank if you're an extra. Right, right. I mean, yeah, I don't... Yeah. So you can make a living if you're really good with money, but yeah, extra pay and taxes in that too. Like, hmm. Sometimes you'll get like a featured extra part, mm -hmm. which might be paid. Um, yeah, like not a, very much. That's another one. No, another yeah, list. featured extra. Featured. So extra, yeah. like you're kind of you're not really seen featured. Right. Yeah. Your face, you may be like the kind of lost in the crowd. A crowd of people, maybe. Yeah, the extra. Yeah. And then a featured person would maybe be the person that just drops off your sugar and yeah. walks away. No lines, no anything. No but they or or they can like stop in on your face. Yeah. Um, for a while. Yeah, like maybe you're reacting to this person that was injured. So you're a featured extra. You have no lines, but your face is featured. Yeah, that's what that means. Do you so. want to talk a little bit about standing? Because I know you have some personal experience. Yeah. So. Not that there's a ranking to anything, but I think it goes like extras where you don't really have any lines, um, featured extras where you're shown on TV, stand-in, you're not ever shown on TV, but you are on set pretty much all day. So I've stood in for like just different actors, um, and what happens as a stand-in is you watch the actors rehearse, and then they go to their trailer, and they go get their makeup done, and they change their wardrobe. You actually take their spot and stand, I don't know, at the kitchen sink. And um, so then everybody else, um, sound can work, figure out where they're gonna put the boom. Camera can work their angles. Lighting can figure out how to light you. Um, set deck, they can, you know, mess with the stuff around you and make sure that everything, you know, nothing's in the way, everything makes sense. There's not a mirror that's reflecting the camera guy. So as a stand-in, your job is to take the place of the actor so that crew can get set while the actor is getting ready and then when the actor comes back, it's good. It's go time. So there's no wasting time. So as a stand-in, you learn an insane amount. I've been a stand-in on a few things, and I cannot tell you the value that being a stand-in has given me. And I, I honestly think that it was like my first gig when I came to Austin. So I think God knew that I needed to learn the industry from the inside out. Mm -hmm. And so by, by like being on set and being completely immersed for like a season and a half on this and then a film or whatever, I learned who people are in the industry because like if you're an actor a lot of times I think it's hard to know what certain crew does and why yeah. but as a stand-in you learn all this and so you just see totally how much work 
yes. these crew members yes. put into, I mean, in a, a sense, I feel like the actors have the easy job. They do. <laughs> they really do. You learn your lines. Yeah. I mean, the crew is there, like, way before the talent gets there, way after. Yep. It's like, I mean, That's they so just, true. they do so much. They do. Yeah. I didn't make a wish. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just sorry. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. you be a stand-in. Try it. That's um, cool. Yeah. Figure that out. And along the line of stand-in is double. Um, oh, yeah. A double is similar to a stand-in, except... Um, so you're becoming the actor, let's say, that they need a shot of the over-the-shoulder looking at a menu. So maybe the, like, act, say it's Jennifer Garner. Maybe she doesn't want to look at a menu. She's got to go do a voiceover or something. Well, somebody that looks like her would be her double. Same skin color, hair color, maybe Hi, shape. Like, they get Hi. really, really specific. Body yeah. type. And, and so instead of having her do this part, they might have a double stand in and look at the menu. And the audience would never know, but that was her double. Or, like, a lot of times I feel like naked shots. I was just going to say, <laughs> like, I think Nicole Kidman has, like, a butt double. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So if you're a double, you're actually in the film you or are in, in the scene yeah. as a stand-in. You just they don't usually show your face because right. obviously then they would see that it's not right. the actor or actress. But mm -hmm. that's cool. Did you want to talk, I guess, about stunt doubles? I mean, I think oh. I think it's kind of self-explanatory, but, you know. Yeah, so stunt doubles. Um, so let's say if I was, like, a big actor and I didn't know how to ride a motorcycle, but it was in my scene. Well, there's probably a stunt double that looks similar to me. She would come in and actually ride the motorcycle, ride the motorcycle for me. It would look like me. There's a helmet on, same body type, but it's not dangerous me. stuff. Yeah. Dangerous work. Yeah. yeah. Or they fall off the building, or they bust through the window, yeah. or um, Cause yeah. some like big actors too. They have like insurance stuff. They can't do certain things yeah. too. Um, but then there's there's actors like Tom Cruise who does all of his own stunts. Oh, I didn't know. Like. That. Um, he recently trained to be able to hold his breath for six minutes underwater oh. for one of the films that came out recently. Like, That's he will do time. all of his own stunts. Good he won't him. have stunt doubles. It's just interesting fact. Yeah. <laughs> no, I prefer yeah. not to either. I want to ride the motorcycle. <laughs> oh, and he did, like, a thing. I want to ride the horse. Where he was, like, actually on the wing of a plane as it was, like, oh, dear. taking off or something. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. crazy. You have to be super careful with Daredevil. Yeah. I know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, another type of acting job would be print work, mm -hmm. um, which we both have some experience in, which is basically pictures of you acting, essentially. Mm -hmm. That's the best way I know how to explain yeah. it. Um, yeah, so I think sometimes you would either just go in for a print job only, and they would set up the scene, and you know, maybe you're having, uh, let's say it's for like an icing on a cake, and so you guys are all having cake, but they're just taking photos, photos. while you're yeah. acting this out. And like I, I did one for a, for a company, and I, um, you know, had a lot to do with computers. So it was a lot of pictures of me at the computer working, or even like behind, you know, like the big, I don't even know what you call it, uh, hardware parts of a computer, oh, <laughs> which is so funny like because the I CPU board. Or yeah, whatever. like I literally do not know anything about that. And, but but the I cool was thing like, is, you have to look. Yeah, 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 and they were just you know taking pictures and. I will say it pays very, very well. Yes. So, yeah, does. print job. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Industrials. Industrials. I've done uh, quite a few industrials. Um, the thing about industrials, I think they're less like commercials, and they are mainly for companies, and they're to be used in-house. So let's say um, Bell's, the, the retail store. They're doing training videos for new employees, so maybe I'm in the training video that these new employees are watching. So it's just more so for a company rather than to be cast locally or streamed right. locally or like like a sexual nationwide. harassment video. Yeah, sexual or... harassment would be a good one. So you would rarely, very rarely, see your industrial video unless they're kind enough to send it to you. But yeah. a lot of the times it goes to the company and you just don't ever see it. I feel like it's kind of like that with print work sometimes too. Yeah, your print work is you kind of hard like, to find. Really get to see it. You have to search. Yeah, especially if it's a big gig, they they don't usually send you the stuff. You have to go searching for it. Like the one I did in July? You haven't seen it? No, I never saw it. I still haven't seen a porn commercial that I did, but I got paid for it, so I know it was out there. So you know, yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, I think another one to chat about is voiceover mm -hmm. work, which I don't have a lot of experience in, 
I, but I have experience auditioning for it. But I think yeah. that would be the cool if you booked like a cartoon show. Yeah. How great would that be? I mean, you could literally go to work in your pajamas. You can. Like, that would be awesome. Yes. You wouldn't have to do your hair. Nope. You don't have to brush your teeth. I would love, yeah. I mean, they might hate you, but. Yeah. If you're with people, you should probably brush your teeth. Yeah. I, um, yeah. Which voiceover cool. work is just your voice. It's, it's not actually, it's not. You're not seen. You, yeah, your face. It's mm-hmm. usually, it's just your voice. But I feel like sometimes that can be difficult. Because even in auditioning, you don't have a lot to work off of yeah you know what I mean so you're you're doing these big reactions to nothing essentially you know what I mean and it's sometimes it can be even more tricky but it's pretty cool yeah it is I've done some voiceover work um for like I did one where it was a thermostat so like really I was just saying temperature warm fan cool (laughs) nice (laughs) it was really easy stuff um but it was really cool, and then I, I've done a, for the film that Brittany and I worked on together, Genesis, um, I did the voiceover throughout the film, so that was quite a bit of dialogue throughout, and a lot yeah, of it got, got a cut. Lot. I think they said like 80% of it got cut in the end. Something like that. And it's okay. I don't mind. I, I oh, love yeah, I did one line voiceover for that. <laughs> yeah. Do you trust me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was so fun. Yeah. And I remember um, one of the auditions I went to, I was a, I was a kid, though. I think I told you, they literally, I went into the studio, like, you kind of go into this, like, sound booth kind of thing, and you put on your headphones, and they're, in my experience, they're, like, behind a wall. Yeah. Um, like, a window, and and, the, and they said to me, they were like, okay, say the word cool five times in five different ways. And it was just, it was just kind of yeah. cool, right? Like, I had my headphones, cool. and it's like, cool, cool. 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 Yeah, cool. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, yeah, so, uh, I would love get a voiceover I mean I, I think that would be amazing yeah and interestingly voiceover is very easy to do from home like if you could just have a quiet area you can submit to voiceover gigs and start getting work like that yeah so I think those are so we said extras featured extras uh, voiceover print mm-hmm. commercials film industrials. industrials doubles stunt doubles so yeah. there's so much you can do. There's a lot. And that's just acting. I mean, crew is a whole, totally different oh, yeah. thing. Director, blah, blah, Which I wouldn't you know. even begin to talk about. All that stuff. That's a whole other world. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, we hope you enjoyed this. If yeah. you have any other, any questions or suggestions, we are very open to that. So. And if we forgot anything, tell us. Please. Hopefully we didn't. Yeah. All right. Okay. Talk to you guys later.